Mr. Speaker. I call on Joshua Doubtfire. Uh, first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the work done by my MP Melissa Lee to get us broadcasted on Parliament TV for the first time live this year. But, Mr. Speaker, climate change is our nuclear free moment. But it may well end up an apocalypse, not because of inaction, but because of the action of this bill. The bill's long term target includes changes in the percentage of sustainable energy, electric cars, and greenhouse gas emission reductions. By 2025, only five years away. Five years, Mr. Speaker, is not long term. Some of us plan holidays more further in advance. Mr. Speaker, New Zealand is already signed up to the Paris Agreement, Copenhagen Conference, and Kyoto Protocols. Even these treaties have more of a backbone to combat climate change than this bill with actual long-term goals until 2050 to, and, and include agricultural admissions. Mr Speaker, haste is not always a virtue. Having a more ambitious, attainable and more thought-out goals over a longer term is the answer. This bill will please neither those in the House who believe the poles are melting and will be under water in 12 years, because it is not ambitious enough. And it will also trouble those, Mr Speaker, who worry about any negative change, uh, changes of a climate bill. How are we to tackle climate change when this bill has no focus on agriculture, waste emissions and a dull aim for transport? Trying to achieve this change in only five years will hurt New Zealanders. The increase in renewable energy does not take into account the extra demand in the power capacity required by the tens of thousands of electric vehicles this bill requires. If Kiwi Build showed us anything, it's that government construction is rather relaxed. So increasing power station capacity might prove us a struggle. A government forcing through fuel taxes and restrictions on non-electric vehicles to meet quotas will cause regional inequality for those who do not have access to electric vehicles or their charge points. Mr Speaker, overall this bill is flawed to the bone, too fuzzy around the edges and will not address the issue of climate change in any meaningful way. This bill is all bark and no bite and I urge the members of this House not just to vote because you want a climate bill passed but because you want the right climate bill passed. I cannot support this bill not because I don't back the cause, but because it will create problems for New Zealanders while not solving the very problem that is the issue of climate change. Mr Speaker. I call on Molly Doyle. Our planet is in a state of emergency.